Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us online again today. Last week, we learned about how God had reminded Isaac and Jacob of his promises. Today, we're going to learn more about Jacob and his brother Esau. But first, let's listen to the song of the month. While it's playing, you can grab what you need for this week's activity. You'll need a cloth bag or any bag that you can't see through, like a pillowcase even. Uh, and then you'll also need some sort of unique object or a toy. So as the song's playing, you can run and grab those things uh, so that they're ready to go for our activity. Super important, don't let your parents see the object that you choose. They're going to be guessing what it is later, so make sure you keep it hidden during the lesson. Hey guys, welcome to Soul Kids. Today we have a very exciting story to learn. Remember Jacob from last week? We're going to learn more about him and how he tricked his brother Esau. Do you ever play tricks on your siblings, Tanner? Well, as you know, Nick, sometimes I do play jokes on you, but it's never anything super serious. It isn't good to try and trick people. You're right. My, you do play tricks on me, and I play jokes on you too. One of my brothers likes to play hide and seek with my shoes, that, not Tanner, one of my younger brothers. And sometimes when I visit him, and sometimes I can't even find them when I need to leave. He never tells me where they are and I have to find them myself before I can go. What about you guys at home? What kind of jokes do you play with your family on? 
In our story today, Jacob tricked his brother Esau and his father Isaac. The trick Jacob, Jacob played was a lot more serious than hiding someone's shoes. Even though it probably wasn't a good decision, God made it work out in his plan. Jacob and Esau were brothers. Esau was a hunter, while Jacob worked at home. One day, Jacob was cooking lentil stew when his brother came home from the field. I am exhausted, he said. Let me eat some of that red stuff. Jacob answered, first, sell me your birthright. The birthright usually belonged to the oldest child. Whoever had the birthright got more of his family's belongings when his parents died. I'm so hungry, I'm about to die, so what good is a birthright to me? Esau replied. So he agreed to give Jacob his birthright. Now, their father Isaac was getting old and losing his eyesight. Isaac called for Esau. I want to bless you before I die, Isaac said. Isaac asked Esau to bring back food from a hunt and cook it for him. Rebekah heard Isaac and Esau talking. She told her son Jacob what was happening and came up with her own plan. Go to the flock and bring me two of the best young goats, Rebekah told Jacob. I will make your father's favorite meal. Then take the food to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies. Rebekah made her husband's favorite meal. She put Esau's clothes on Jacob and covered his hands and neck with goat hair so that Isaac would think Jacob was Esau. Then Jacob took the meal to his father. Who are you, my son? Isaac asked. I'm Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may bless me, Jacob said. Isaac asked Jacob to come closer. He felt Jacob's hands. The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau, Isaac said. It's me, Esau, Jacob said. So Isaac answered, Serve me, and let me eat some of my son's game so that I can bless you. Then Jacob brought his father food and drink, and he ate it. After the meal, Isaac told Jacob to come closer. He kissed him, and after smelling his clothes, Esau's clothes, Isaac offered him the blessing. The blessing included land, riches, and power. Then Jacob left. About this time, Esau came home from his hunt and cooked a meal for his father. When he offered the food to Isaac, his father told him that he had been tricked and Jacob had been given the blessing. Esau cried and begged his father to bless him too. But Isaac had nothing left to offer his son Esau. Esau was angry at his brother Jacob, and he made a plan to kill him. But Rebekah sent Jacob away to her brother's house, where he would be safe until Esau calmed down. Jesus is the firstborn over all creation. When Jesus hung on the cross, he gave up his blessing for us. Jesus took the punishment we deserve so that the Father would give us the blessing he deserves. Our story begins with Jacob making a delicious pot of stew. When Esau came in and smelled how good it was, he wanted it more than anything. He even said he was so hungry he would die. Esau was so desperate, he traded his birthright for a bowl of stew. What's a birthright? Uh, back in Bible times, a birthright was something that the oldest child in a family would get. It was something that the child would get when their father passed away. The oldest child would get everything the family owned. The birthright was worth a lot of money, and it was one of the most important things a child can receive. And Esau was prepared to trade that away for a bowl of soup? Yes in the moment. Esau cared more about eating than about his birthright. His birthright would have been important for the rest of his life, but the stew was only important in the moment. Esau made a bad choice. 
And then after Jacob had Esau's birthright, he tricked his father, Isaac, right? That's right. Jacob, Jacob stole Esau's blessing. The blessing usually came with the birthright to be given to the oldest son. Jacob lied to Isaac so that Isaac would bless him to receive so that Isaac would bless him. To receive the blessing from your father was an honor. The father encouraged his son and made predictions about his future. Esau was upset because he lost the blessing. The Bible says that Jesus is the firstborn over all creation. He came to earth to take the punishment we deserve for our sin. Because he is God's son, the firstborn, only he deserves a blessing. But believers share with Jesus the wonderful blessing, an inheritance and glory that only he deserves. Our theme verse for this month is from Genesis 17, verse 7. It says, I'm, establ I'm establishing my covenant between me and you, a covenant that includes your children, a covenant that goes on and on and on, a, co a covenant that commits me to be your God and the God of your children. How does this verse relate to our story today? God had made this promise already to Abraham and then reminded Isaac of it. His plan all along was for this blessing to go to Jacob, so he used Esau's bad decision to further his plan. Remember that nothing can come between God and his purpose in blessing us. So even though it seems like Jacob and Esau weren't really concentrating on following God's plan, God made his plan work out anyway. Exactly. God had promised his covenant would continue forever, and in this story of Jacob and Esau, we see God's covenant continuing with Jacob. Let's say the verse one more time. It says, I'm establishing my covenant between me and you, a covenant that includes your children, a covenant that goes on and on and on, a covenant that commits me to be your God and the God of your children. Today, for our activity, we're going to play a game with our parents. But before you go and get them, you're going to need to set up the game first. At the beginning, we instructed you to grab a cloth bag or some kind of bag that you can't see through and a unique object or toy. You want the object to be something your parents won't be expecting. Maybe it's a toy that's a funny shape or something you own that your parents have forgotten about. Make sure there's nothing sharp. Put the object in the bag so that no one can see it. Now run, grab a parent, tell them to guess what's inside this bag. They're allowed to stick their hand in the bag and feel it, but they're not allowed to look inside. Make sure they don't pee. See how long it takes them to guess what's in the bag just by using their hands. Feel free to play this game with more, more than once with different objects. Maybe your parents want to take a turn putting something inside the bag and getting, making you guess. Pause the video until you're finished. All right, Tanner, can I guess what's in your bag? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Oh, it's fuzzy. Um, <laughs> Is it, um, what? Have any oh, I've seen this around. Is this the parrot? It is. It is the parrot. Good job, Nick. That oh, was that's pretty such good. a good object. All right. Well, hopefully you guys have a lot of fun playing this at home. It's one of my favorite games. I hope you guys gave your parents some tough objects to guess. Our activity, our activity today is kind of like what Jacob did to his dad, Isaac. Remember, Isaac couldn't see, so Jacob made himself feel like Esau by putting hair on his hands and his neck so that... Isaac would be tricked into thinking he was Esau. Before we go, we want to invite you to join us for Soul Kids online at 11.30 a.m., right after the gathering on Sunday, May 23rd. It's going to be lots of fun to hang out together, and we would love to see you there. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we praise you. You are the firstborn over all creation. You came to earth from heaven and became a man so you could take the punishment we deserve for our sin. You died for us so that we can share with you the blessing only you deserve. Thank you for inviting us into the family of God. We love you. Amen. Like Nick said, we'll be meeting on Zoom after the gathering. So if you'd like to join us on Zoom, get a parent to contact me at the number on the screen. We hope to see you there. Bye.